Hello everyone, in this video we are taking a look at the Elevation Profile tool in Google Earth. To access the tool we have to first of all create a path that we're going to use to tell Google Earth how we want it to cut across the terrain. So I'm going to head over to the path tool on the quick access menu and click on that. And then I'm just going to create one starting point here for a path and another ending point there. And now I can click OK on that to close the properties window. And now with the path selected under the list of places, we can go under the edit menu and then click on show elevation profile. Now we can see the elevation profile panel at the bottom of Google Earth. Now the first thing you may notice is the information that we have at the top of the elevation profile panel such as the total distance of our path, the total elevation, the elevation gain and loss, and the maximum slope. This information applies to the entire elevation profile that we're currently looking at, but we can also isolate it just for a certain section of the elevation profile. And we can do that just by left clicking, holding and dragging in the elevation profile to isolate an area. And now we can see that the information that is being displayed applies just to this area. If you want to clear out of the selection, you can left click anywhere in the elevation profile. Notice also that as you drag your cursor across the elevation profile, the corresponding location of your cursor is also being shown on the path in the Google Earth profile with that red arrow. Now, there are a couple of things to know. The first one is that you don't actually have to have the 3D terrain checked on in order to be able to use the elevation profile. And the other thing is that you can edit your path while the elevation profile is being enabled and the changes that you make to your path are going to be reflected here in the elevation profile. So if I right click on the path under the list of places and go under its properties, I can, for example, left click, hold and drag on the first point and move it to a new location. Then give Google Earth a second and it's going to update the elevation path. The update happens faster if you have the 3D terrain turned on, but again, you don't really have to have it turned on to be able to use the elevation profile. But I'm going to toggle it on just to show you that the update happens much faster. And now as I drag the point, we can see instant update. You can also add more points to your path. It doesn't have to be just between two points. So if I left click to create another point, and move that around, we can see now the elevation profile updates accordingly. There is another way to enable the elevation path and that is through the ruler tool. So I'm going to close out of the properties for this path and I'm going to right click on it and delete it. And I'm going to turn on the ruler tool from the quick access toolbar. And now I'm going to go under the path tab and make sure that the show elevation profile box is toggled on. And now I can just left click in the viewport once and then again to create a path and it's going to automatically enable the elevation profile. If I want to convert this ruler measurement to an actual path, I can click on the save button and this is going to convert it to a path. Now I can save it and with the path selected, I can go under the edit menu and enable the elevation profile again. And so this just about covers it for the elevation profile tool. Feel free to experiment with it, but I would advise some caution because you have to keep in mind that the elevation data that Google Earth uses to visualize the 3D terrain and the elevation profile is of a fairly low resolution, something between 5 to 30 meters per pixel. Some areas seem to be more accurately mapped than others, and I have personally seen Google Earth being remarkably accurate in some cases, but just be cautious and keep one in mind when it comes to using these tools for planning purposes. For now, I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next session.